Hello, today I'm going to show you how to set up field extraction training with multiple variants. Now, this video assumes that you're already comfortable setting up a project, a field extraction project with a single variant. So if you're not, please make sure you go watch our video on that. Uh, otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we want to do is jump into our project settings, into our doc document definition, and we want to edit this. If you recall, in the first video, we did set up a transcript section, so we're simply going to modify this, and we're going to add some new variants here. In this case, we're dealing with transcripts, so I have uh, Doe High School, and then I have, uh, we'll just call it a homeschool. It's a homeschool transcript, so we'll just call it our homeschool transcript. So we'll add the number of different variants that we have here. We'll close, we'll hit OK, we will save, and we will publish this document definition. So that set up the different styles of variants that we have. Now the next thing we're going to do, which we did not do yet, is go into our classification training. Classification is a fancy way of saying, hey software, this is how you learn what kind of document, or sometimes we call it a document type, uh, that the software is processing. So we're going to create a new batch, and we're going to load some images. Uh, in this case, we're going to have the images from um, our second set. This would be our Doe High School. So we're going to process those. Okay, so now that the documents are ready to be processed, what we're going to do is right-click and set a reference class. We're going to hit the Add button, and we're going to give the class a name. In this case, we'll call it our, our Doe High School class. We will hit Add. We will specify the variant, and we'll tell the software that this is the Doe High School variant. We'll hit OK, and you can see here that those now have a reference class there. The next thing I will do is load the images for our homeschool um, variant. I'm just going to go ahead and load those here. And I will set the reference class for this one. This will be our homeschool. We'll add, we'll specify the variant, and we'll say that this is the homeschool variant. Now that we've specified the reference class, in other words, that's the, that's the simple word or complicated word for saying our document type. Now that we've set the, the document type for those given ones, we're going to train the software. It's very similar to what we've done before, but we're, instead of field training, we're going to go to classification training, and we're going to hit the train. Now the software will be able to tell which document belongs to which variant. Now we need to tell the software, based on the variant, how do you find the fields? And that's done, once again, through our field extraction batches, which we've seen before, except this time we're going to create a new batch. And we're going to do our Doe High School one this time. I'm going to load some images here. We're going to load the ones relevant to this batch. And then what we can start doing is telling the software where to find the given fields for these variants. So there's the name, uh, the cumulative GPA is there. And we're just going to do that for every document. This is what we've done in the previous video for the default one, but now we're doing it for this given document class, or reference class is sometimes what we call that. And I'm just pointing and clicking and telling the software where this is found. I'm going to go once again to our project menu, hit the fields training, and then we will train the field locations for Doe High School. And just like we did for that, we will need to do the same thing for the additional variant, which in this case is our homeschool variant. And I'm going to load some images here as well. That's my last batch here of documents. I'll go ahead and go into the batch. And then once it's, these are processed, we will set uh, the given field locations. And remember, it's just a point and click or sometimes a drag if it's multiple words. And I'm just telling them, here's where these fields are for these document types. Okay. The next thing I will do is train for the homeschool one, and we'll save the changes. 
Now, just like what we did before, we're going to go ahead and create a new working batch. And when we run these documents, we will see that the software will do two things. It will remember the type of document, whether it's the default variant, the Doe High School or the Home School. And then based on that variant, it will learn or remember where the fields were found on those given variants. So let's go ahead and load all of our samples and we'll let the software chew on these and then we'll dive into the batch and see what the results are. And now that the software is done processing, the batch will go one by one and we'll just see that the software does remember the location of these fields. So we call those regions once again and the software is remembering the location of these regions. So as I click around, the software is capturing these no matter how the document looks. So I can just keep going down here and I'll click click through these just so you believe me and you can see no matter the style of document the software does remember where these fields are and there you go so that's an example of a working batch that has been trained to do two things detect the document type the reference class and to find the location of those fields so to summarize, we've done a few different things. We went into the document definition editor and we told the software that we're going to process multiple variants. We created a classification batch so that we can tell the software how to learn the document type, how to learn the differences between the document types. And then after it learned the differences, we can then tell the software based on those differences, which fields to capture or where they're found more specifically for the given document type. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to process multiple variants in the field extraction uh, s features of the software. And uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to us. We'd love to help you out in any way we could. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much.